Hello, my beautiful and handsome Cancers, and welcome to my channel. This is a Hummingbird Tarot. Today, I'm going to be channeling a message for you, for your general energy, whatever spirit wants you to know, would wants you to hear um, for February. Although this is a timeless reading, whenever you land here, this reading is for you. There's something here for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the energy um, of what is going on for you when you come to this reading. These are general messages, so take them how they resonate for you. I do also offer private readings, so you can message me in my email in the description box below if you'd like to do something personal. Okay. So first of all, Cancer, we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Okay, so being empathetic, seeing both sides, being open is at play here for uh, this month for you. And growth. Okay, so I'm feeling like solar plexus energy here with this growth. And third eye chakra here for empathy. Because those are the things that uh, you want to focus your energy on this month. Um, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So like I said, with this third eye chakra here work and working on being empathetic, seeing both sides of a situation, reassessing um, and being more aware of uh, those things in your life and uh, just growing that consciousness, growing that awareness within you. Okay, and then what else is at play for spirit animal for my cancer? Beautiful people. He's a spirit animal for my cancers. Octopus. Okay. So I'm feeling with the octopus energy, Cancer, that um, you're kind of spreading yourself a little bit too thin. You're grabbing at lots of different things right now. Also, um, there are boundary issues going on with whatever situation or person that you're coming to this reading and uh, wanting to know more about. So you're kind of, you know, like you're giving too much of yourself right now. So bring that back in, dial it back in, one tentacle at a time, Cancer. So that was also water energy. This is about your emotions. So um, kind of dialing that back, Be, giving that energy to yourself. Um, creating boundaries, better boundaries for yourself right now is really important because you are working on this new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So this new beginning is growing within you right now, expanding yourself, being more aware of your connections and how they're affecting you. Um, okay, and then because we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will mag magically transform. I'm feeling cancer like I pulled this card for you before. So there's something that um, that is playing into this empathy here. This criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. So being more empathetic um, bringing your energy more into that center, your, into yourself here, instead of reaching out and, and trying to grab at other people's energy, maybe um, loving yourself first here and feeling for you guys and um, not looking for acceptance um, from others at, um, as much as just really accepting and loving yourself here. Um, having empathy for others in the situation or with this person. Because when you criticize one another, this um, you're criticizing and probably a shadow aspect of yourself that you're seeing in another that you don't like within yourself. And so it triggers you with another person here. 
So let's, um, it's about reining that in right now. And tr this transformation and new beginning is happening in your relationship or the situation. So sorry about that. That's my little dog walking around. Um, so last card with this is it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. And yes, I was feeling that with the octopus energy. It's really time to focus on yourself, developing that self-love even further. I'm feeling like you really have been doing this work in your life, Cancer. Um, but Spirit is just saying that keep on with that path, really nurturing yourself, finding out what what um, serves you, what doesn't serve you. This is going to help with boundaries, not needing other people to um, affirm you or accept you because that acceptance lies within. Okay, so let's get some more tarot. Let's do more. Let's do tarot now to see what else is going on with this energy. Okay, Ace of Cups. Okay, because you're having this new beginning in love, um, compassion, creativity, um, new feelings are of passionate new feelings are starting to sprout into your life now. Um, this could be, you know renewed spirituality, tapping into your intuition. Um, something is birthing here, uh, a, a child, a uh, marriage, uh, some kind of union is coming out of this. This new beginning is with this compassionate, loving, creative energy right now, spiritual energy bubbling up within you, like the spring of water coming from the cup. Um, peace okay and then here with criticizing one another we do have this um, four of cups energy where you aren't really grasping on to the blessings that are coming into your life right now um, you're feeling a little bit uh, disconnected uh, this is a call to have a, to do a little bit more meditation to help you get out of this um, because you're not really seeing the blessing. It's uh, tapping into that um, that growth aspect is you're going to find that through meditation, whatever that is for you, whatever helps clear your mind so that you can receive messages more from spirit, more from the universe and your guides. So whatever you do for meditation is okay. Um, Spirit just really wants you to see the blessings that are coming into your life here with this growth and expanding yourself, expanding your consciousness, opening your awareness more to the things that are happening. So paying attention to the signs around you is gonna be really important. Um, also, this is going hand in hand, see? because there's this unhealed energy here, this criticizing, um, this not accepting of a cer certain situation here is keeping you from your full blessings. Okay. So actually the four of cups in reverse is opening up to that awareness, having that sudden awareness of the blessings that are around you. Okay, and then with temperance, and the the five of cups okay so right now it's important for you to heal to take that step back here and this is confirming it as well with the temperance and this it's important to step back spend time alone instead of placing your focus on another it's time to give to yourself um, bringing in balance into your life harmony moderation having patience for the situation at hand for this person um, is going to be really important. Um, allowing divine timing to take place in this um, relationship or situation. Being sensible. Um, and, and then that's just sensible. Like having balance. Doing the things uh, in your life. Work. Play. Um, you know, finding joy. Getting out in the world. Expanding yourself. Drinking enough water taking care of yourself, your body, mind, spirit connection here. Um, there's this 
this healing that's taking place in your life right now. You are growing. Um, you're getting into this empathetic place here where you have empathy and acceptance for yourself as well as others in your life. Um, more acceptance here is, is needed. You're moving on from something uh, that has, you know, perhaps made you feel regret, failure, disappointment, uh, grief and loss. You're moving away. You're moving on. You're finding peace again in your life. And you are just, you know, really getting to this place where you are no longer feeling like you're in this uh a place of personal setback um, and, and you're really forgiving yourself now for any part that you played in this situation or in this um, romantic situation, in this relationship here that you are coming to this reading looking to um, find out more about. Okay, so with this new beginnings, you're having, it's apparent here, this new begin, beginning is, is wanting to come in quickly. There's just a little bit of growth you, you still have to do, a little bit more healing that you still have to do. And you're going to start seeing this new beginning manifest in your life, Cancer. This is the year for it. Okay, so let's see what else is going on for this new beginning, new beginning spirit. What's going on? In this new beginning for cancer clear message what else? okay the devil okay so this new beginning has a little bit of this devil energy in it um <clears throat> i just want to say i'm feeling like this new beginning is you are working through this energy of codependency and standing in your own light here, um, getting out of bad habits, uh, like within a relationship I'm feeling because, um, you know, this new beginning is centered around seeing both sides of a situation, growth, and boundaries here. So you might be having this um, recurring pattern in a relationship, in relationships in general, where you kind of give too much of yourself, uh, lose yourself in codependency here, um, but you're stepping out of that. Let's get one more card for the devil. What else is going on with this devil energy here for Cancer? Ten of Cups. Yes, so you are stepping away from cycles and habits, bad habits in relationships, of not establishing strong boundaries, um, losing yourself in somebody else's world. Instead of coming in and saying, this is who I am, accept all, all of the things that I am. I'm not going to change my, my own life and my own desires to benefit somebody else's uh situation or you know uh like you're pretend you have to put on this mask to, and pretend you're somebody else to be with a person no you are strong in your boundaries and you are are um you are just be, being appreciative and accepting of yourself who you are unabashedly being who you are without, um, you know, needing to feel like you have to fit into somebody else's um, life. You are having this person, this person is, or, or these people coming into your life, these situations coming into your life now, Cancer, are going to be aligned with who you are, your authentic self. You're not going to have to try and fit yourself into somebody else's life, you know, or push because um, the people coming into your life, it, it, either in love or in any situation, in work, in um, platonic relationships, friendships, family relationships, you're no longer pushing to get some sort of crumbs of love from somebody else or trying to fit yourself into their lives. It's more about you are aligned, people accepting you for who you are and setting those strong boundaries 
being aware of those cycles that you have been in in the past and no longer getting into them because you have true happiness here, true connection that the people coming into your life, situations coming into your life are loving you for exactly who you are here. So amazing new beginnings with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. It's this whole complete cycle here and you're no longer in those old cycles of um, defeating, uh, limiting beliefs or patterns that you've had in your life before. You're stepping away from those. What else is going on here? For criticizing one another. And it's not really seeing the blessings coming in your life or not wanting to take them because of the commitment. All right, so the emperor. Okay, so again, this is about strong boundaries. Um, being strong in your solar plexus here with this growth, expanding your awareness, being aware of uh, who you are. Don't let others, you know, take you off that throne. This is your foundation. This is who you are. Um, don't, don't get distracted by your relationships and, and let others take your power now here. Um, and this is this piece with this criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Um, because you are essentially, when you're criticizing this other, like I said, this, this energy of, um, of non-acceptance of your shadow self, because what you're seeing in this other is a, is a shadow aspect of yourself and something that you don't like about yourself. So accepting that self, that, that peace fully having empathy, knowing that this is what you struggle with too. And instead of criticizing, you know, offering advice, offering help, seeing all sides of the situation, you know, saying, yes, I have been in this situation before myself and I don't like it. And this is how I get out of this circumstance. This is how I deal with this um, irritating thing, you know, that um, I don't like here and I'm seeing it in you and let me help you transform that within yourself. And you do that by having strong boundaries, by accepting the blessings, by having gratitude for all of the different aspects of yourself. And I am feeling, I am feeling this balancing of this masculine and feminine here with this emperor. Because um, I have this strong masculine energy with the emperor, but I'm feeling, gosh, I'm feeling, let's see. I'm feeling this divine union happening for you, Cancer. This new beginning. I'm feeling that strong feminine energy waiting to come out here in your reading. But let's see what spirit has for you. Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is a time of healing, having acceptance, moving on, finding your peace. And Spirit is saying here that you are protected with the Seven of Swords, that you are um, able to see things from all different perspectives now. You're seeing both sides of situations, and this is helping you outwit your obstacles here that will bring you back into this devil energy, those cycles, the repeating cycles in your relationships here, you are outwitting those obstacles and are protected. You see all sides, you see the enemy coming and you see it in time to steal all of their weapons. You know, you, you're taking their weapons, you're outwitting those obstacles and um, keeping yourself protected here with the seven of swords energy. Okay, so, but it's from that going within, from being, becoming more aware of what's going on here in your circumstance. Again, we've got this octopus energy coming out here with the five of swords and strength. 
Okay, so yes, yeah, strong boundaries. I'm gonna read from the guidebook on the octopus here because I really am feeling like this is at, um, this is a huge energy that is in your life right now. You have strength, you can tame the beast um, quietly with love, with this balance, harmony. Um, the beast that wants to devour um, you, you are outwitting them. You are seeing it before it comes. You are becoming more aware, um, tapping into your intuition here, staying out of conflict um, by setting those strong boundaries with the emperor here. And um, with octopus that I'm going to read from the guidebook, it's that water energy that's about emotions. It's about, like I said, um, not really looking for acceptance and love outside of yourself right now. Why am I having a hard time finding it? Where is my water energy? Oh, there it is. Okay. So the octopus energy is reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. The octopus signifies a wonderfully perceptive mind paired with the lack of healthy boundaries. Unfortunately, this results in well-intended but messy relationships. The octopus entwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint. They believe that's what it means to be close. If you notice after spending time with someone that you feel drained or uneasy, the essence of octopus is at play. Begin to establish healthy boundaries. Be patient and firm. It may be a very old habit to change. Yes, see the habit, the habit of um, trying to manipulate the re this relationship about being close, about not having strong boundaries here. Um, it's entwining itself into others, um, biz not business, but entwines itself in other people's yeah business and um, oversharing um, to establish connection. Um, you don't need to do that now. It's about um, being patient, firm, and establishing those strong boundaries with yourself, not oversharing, not overgiving, um, especially when people aren't asking that of you, you know, just recognizing that, having awareness, opening yourself up, um, seeing both sides of the situation, but not necessarily injecting your opinion or idea about how to change that. It's about maybe listening um, more or whatever that is for you in this situation to avoid conflict, to avoid drama here. Um, like I said, that overreaching, that octopus energy here is again and taming the beast, having strong boundaries, having strong um, sense of self and who you are that it's important right now to step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself here. So you're seeing these things now. You are, there are just a few things that you need to rein into yourself and not grasp and look for acceptance um, or connection with others based on pushing based on um, chasing, based on um, uh, the best, that codependent kind of um, energy. And I don't mean to trigger any of you, my beautiful cancers. You guys mean so much to me. You are this beautiful energy and you are working so hard to grow and change and find that compassion and love for yourself. Um, Spirit is saying that you are almost there. Um, when this octopus energy is in balance, you are interested, you're engaged, and you're intelligent. You are a good listener, um, but it's just about not overreaching, um, not getting involved in drama emotionally, you know, not um, being clingy or needy. Um, of others' attention and affection. It's about finding that in within yourself. And you're going to, when you, when you can really do that, you're going to magnetically draw people to you without even trying, without even needing to push um, 
any sort of relationship. They're just going to be drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to that energy because they see that you are really coming from this place of self-love and acceptance of yourself. Um, and when this energy, um, you know, when you need to really step away from this octopus energy, from these repeating patterns in your relationships, um, just take take that time to yourself give to yourself go within um also you know talking it out in therapy with somebody you know when you feel like you really need to share um don't go to your friends go to a therapist somebody that isn't um you know connected to you where you could just really spill and not have regrets or feel drained because um because of the energy is off, off balance in uh, when you could go to your friends or they're not really supporting you. Um, this can really just drain your energy and leave you feeling even more empty. So talk therapy in a, in a space, in a safe space where you are not, um, you know, spilling everything out to people who might not be supportive of you right now, you know? So just having that awareness, seeing both sides, that empathy and growth is working in your life now. Um, that's all I'm really seeing for your reading today, but I'll be in touch with you guys again. And it, like I said, if you need a private reading um, to get more in depth, uh, what, what's going on in your life, please email me and I'll set you up with that private reading. Um, it's, uh, it's a great, uh, way to, you know, like, like I said, expand this reading, um, if it connects with you, uh, and, uh, you know, like you need further assistance in the situation that you're dealing with here, because like I said, you are very close, you are very close to coming into balance and healing, um, any sort of, um, relationship or relation um these personal setbacks and this forgiveness the self-forgiveness that i'm seeing in your reading setting strong boundaries for yourself you know if you're feeling like you're not quite sure how to go about that you know i can help set you up in a, a little program about how to better set strong boundaries for yourself as this is something that i've had to really heal within my own life Okay, so I'm sending you lots of love and light, Cancer, and wishing you all the best and hoping to see you again in another reading. Bye-bye.